Welcome to the Music Podcast for Kids. We're your hosts, Mr. Henry and Mr. Fight, music Music educators extraordinaire. The Music Podcast for Kids is a fun and educational podcast where we learn and explore the best subject ever, music. Today's episode, we are learning about rock and roll music. Whoa, Mr. Fight, you are rocking and rolling on that old geek box. That old geek box? Oh, you mean the guitar. Yes, well, thank you. Could you show me how to uh, shred on the guitar? Shred a guitar? Why would I want to shred a guitar? That would ruin it. No, no. When when I say shred, I, I mean play really, really fast. Oh, well, yeah, I can show you how to... Oh, wow, check out this box-looking thing. With a cord from the guitar attached to it? What is this? That's an amplifier. Amplifier? Yep. The word amplify means to make louder. So the amplifier allows the guitar to become louder. Cool. Play a little, and I'll turn up the volume on the amplifier. Well, okay. Just don't turn it up too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just play a little. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, Okay, Mr. Henry. Not that, maybe not that loud. Mr. Henry, it's getting a little loud. No, don't turn it up to 11. Ah! Mr. Fighter, are you okay? And now the music joke of the day. We love jokes. So if you have a joke, please visit our website, themusicpodcastforkids.com, to submit your joke. And guess what? It doesn't even have to be a music joke. It can be any joke. We will read and enjoy your joke on the podcast and also let everyone know who it came from and where you are in this great, big, wonderful music world. Our joke of the day is... Hey, Mr. Fight, did you hear about the farmer who played guitar out in his cornfield? No. Well, it was music to his ears. (laughs) Get it? Uh, ears. Yeah, yeah, music. Ears. Dude, corn you're like, corn, like, like ear corn. Oh, it right. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's good. I like that. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Ears. <laughs> right. You got it. That's okay. good. That was a good one. All right. Really All good. right, Mr. Fight. <clears throat> okay. I'm so, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Make sure to send in your jokes by visiting our website, themusicpodcastforkids.com. A link to the website can be found in the show notes. And now, the music word of the day. 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 Yeah! Before we get to our main focus of the day, rock music, let's take a look at the music word of the day. Solo. You mean like Han Solo from Star Wars? No, not Han Solo, but I do love those movies. The term solo can mean a couple different things. First, it can be used when describing a person who is playing alone. Can you guess who this is? Yup, Mr. Fight singing his very own song, Don't Put Your Cat in the Washing Machine. It's a pretty fun and hilarious song, so make sure to check it out on iTunes. And yes, Mr. Bruce was playing as a soloist or by himself for that tune. A solo can also mean when a person in a group is improvising. Improvising? Yes, improvising. Improvising is when you make up something on the spot. So when a rock musician is taking a solo, that means they are making up their own part on the spot, while the rest of the band continues to play with him or her to offer support during their solo. Take a listen to this person taking a solo. Cool. So, the word solo can mean when a person is playing by themselves or when a person in a group is improvising. You got it. Great. Hey, can I borrow that new guitar that you just spent all of your life savings on? Uh, Well, well, 
Yeah, I guess so. Just just be super careful with it. Super careful is my middle name. No worries, Mr. Fight. I'm a professional, super careful guitar handler guy who loves to play the guitar. Whoops. Mr. Henry! Thank you so much for listening. We hope you are enjoying the show so far. Please subscribe to the podcast to receive the latest episodes and leave a review through iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Also, get updates on what we are up to through Facebook and Instagram by finding us at Music Podcast for Kids. Links will be found in the show notes. On to the show! And now, the main subject of the day. Rock music came about in the early 1950s in the United States. Jazz, blues, classical, folk, and country music all influenced rock music, which means those styles of music helped rock become its own style. The electric guitar is usually the main part of rock music, but you will also see the electric bass, drums, keyboard, and a singer. The guitar has six strings and allows a rock and roller in a rock band to play chords and also shred on solos. The electric guitar has to be plugged into an amplifier in order to have its rockin' sound. There are many different sounds a guitar can have. One sound we hear a bunch in rock music is this sound. That sound is called distortion. Distortion? Yeah, distortion. Well, what is that? Well, distortion is that scratchy, crunching sound a guitar makes when you turn up the gain on an amplifier. Gain? Oh, I get it. Like, if I eat this donut, I will gain 10 pounds? <laughs> um, well, no, not really. The word gain in music is a little different. Oh, do explain. Well, gain equals X times log, which is measured in dB, or decibels. Um... Okay, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Gain is when you make the signal from the amplifier to the guitar lower or higher. Oh, so like the volume. Well, not exactly. Volume is a little different. So, on an amplifier is a knob called gain. If I turn the gain knob up, a higher signal is found, which then creates the sound of distortion. So, if you ever wanted to make a guitar have that cool distorted sound, just turn up the gain, but not all the way. Ah, sounds cool. A bass guitar is also found in a rock band. It sounds like this. The bass guitar looks a lot like an electric guitar, but only has four strings and plays very low notes. The bass guitar usually plays the main notes, which give a great foundation or support to the rest of the band. The drums are also a big part of a rock band. They keep everyone going with their super sweet rhythms and fills. The drummer is responsible for many instruments, like the bass drum, snare drum, hi-hat, tom-toms, and cymbals. Put them all together and you get a great sound. The drums keep the music lively, which is essential for rock music. Sweet! Another instrument you may see in a rock band is the keyboard. The electric keyboard is also plugged in to give all kinds of cool sounds. Let's take a listen to a couple. Last but not least is the singer. You typically will not hear a singer like this in a rock band. It just doesn't fit the style of the voice. Rather, you would hear this type of vocal. Put the electric guitar, bass guitar, drums, keyboard, and a vocalist, and boom, you have a rock band. There are so many types of rock music that we have today, like blues rock, folk rock, country rock, southern rock, progressive rock, punk rock, pickle rock? Huh? Wait, did you say pickle rock? Okay, m maybe not pickle rock. Anyway, that's rock, rock music. The Music Podcast for Kids is brought to you by... 
Mr. Henry's Music World YouTube channel. If you are interested in learning how to play the piano with a fun and engaging curriculum geared toward kids, please subscribe to Mr. Henry's YouTube channel called Mr. Henry's Music World. Links will be found in the show notes. Again, we thank you so much for tuning in. Time for the Super Duper Music Challenge. It's time to test your ears. Test your ears? Uh, I don't think you can really give your ears a test, Mr. Henry. I mean, how do your ears hold a pencil without bleeding? Oh, no, Mr. Fight. When I say test your ears, I mean listening to something and trying to figure it out through hearing it. Ah, right, of course. Time to play the The Music Podcast Podcast for Kids Super Duper Duper Music Music Listening Challenge. Uh, Yeah, uh, I don't Mm. know, Mr. Fight. A a little bit long of a title? Yeah, yeah, we need to work that one out. Yeah, we will. We'll work it out. Okay, on to the challenge. For today's challenge, we are going to listen to a rock band that has guitar, bass, drums, and keyboard, just like we learned about. All four instruments will be playing together, but one of the instruments is going to be louder than the rest. Try and figure out which instrument is louder. Write down or remember your answers. To see if you are correct, go to the show notes for the answers. Here is number one. Here is number two. Here is number three. And last, here is number four. How did you do? Hopefully, you nailed it. Check your answers by visiting the show notes. And while you're in the show notes, check out the links and other info we have just for you. Just check. Just chatting, just chatting, just chatting, just chatting, just chatting, just chatting. So, Mr. Bill, speaking of rock music, have you ever been in a rock band? Uh, yeah, I have actually. Uh, I've been in a couple rock bands. Um, I started my first rock band was in high school, right? Yeah, it was oh, in wow. high school. And I played drums for that band, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. And we played, I remember one of the places we played was called the Electric Banana. <laughs> That's <laughs> <was> awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. It was like a restaurant or something? Uh, or no, it was, like a, it was like a music club. Oh, nice. But it was for like kids in high school. Oh, so, yeah, we had a good nice. time. I was nervous. I was really nervous. Yeah, I remember I being really nervous. How old were you? Uh, I was, so that was like 10th grade. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. 15 or so. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, and Ooh. then um, and then after that, I I played in rock bands in college, and um, right. and then even still playing, you know, bands. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. How about you? Uh, yeah, never actually. Well, I guess I was in one one rock, like not really rockish. It was more acoustic, but yeah. I played a lot of rock when I first started learning the guitar. Um, I lived out in the country, so I really didn't have any close neighbors, you know, to go play jam with. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I put the distortion up and and uh, play some blues and rock and learn new songs and write them down and yeah, that's uh, cool and stuff like that. So I, I enjoy doing that stuff on my own, just kind of by myself, you know. Now, kinda. now, how did you learn a lot of that stuff? Because you know, I mean, we didn't have YouTube. Yeah. So, li- like, ear just listening to it, it was kind of wild. Like, I would, <laughs> I would uh, turn the radio on. I would hear three or four songs of that set, like for the hour. Yeah. And then I'd start writing them down, and figuring them out. I'd have three songs going, and uh, in the meantime, when they came back up, I would turn off the radio and try to sing it and figure yep. out if I had the right chords or the right yep. notes yeah. for the, the solo. It took a lot of time. Yeah. I think it helped my ear. I think it really yeah, totally. helped to be able to hear, you know, what chord is that? And, you know, that went up, that went down. Yep. And, yeah, I really do. But although it is kind of, the internet is really nice. Yeah, it makes be, a lot easier <laughs> to be for able sure. to find all that stuff. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, that's yeah cool. I remember doing the same thing. I would have like a, a CD player 
and I would yeah. put my headphones on and I'd really, really listen. And then I'd take it off and I'd, I'd try and figure it out on the, the piano or right. the, the drums or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever I was doing. And it definitely helped develop the ear for sure. Yeah. Which is important. You need that. Yeah. To play in in any sort of right in a rock band or, mm-hmm. or whatever. So. Yeah, and the other thing I noticed too is I realized if I could realize that's the wrong note, like if I knew it was the wrong note, I knew I was on the right track. Yes. So I wasn't just fooling myself like, oh yeah, this sounds great. Right. I could tell something wasn't quite right, right. right in that spot, yep. and that really helped to, to yeah. kind of clean things up. Yeah, that's cool. So that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Yeah, man. All right. Sounds good. Time to wrap it up, folks. Thank you so much for tuning into the Music Podcast for Kids. We hope you enjoyed the show, and most importantly, learned something cool today about music. Remember to send in your jokes or even a topic in music you would like us to discuss by visiting our website, themusicpodcastforkids.com. If you are interested in awesome educational and fun songs for your kids to listen and sing along with, please visit brucefight.com. Music is available to download with iTunes, CD Baby, and Facebook. And most streaming platforms like Spotify and Amazon Radio. Links will be found in the show notes. If you are interested in learning how to play the piano with a fun and engaging curriculum geared toward kids, please subscribe to Mr. Henry's YouTube channel called Mr. Henry's Music World. Links will be found in the show notes. Please visit iTunes to leave a review of the podcast and also share the podcast with friends, relatives, aliens, whoever. Again, we thank you so much for tuning in. They don't pay us enough for this job. Yeah.